So we're looking here at um, the ionisation energy of an atom and um, how it gives us evidence for shells, the shell structure of an atom. The first ionisation energy of an element is the energy required to remove one electron from each atom in one mole of gaseous atoms to form one mole of gaseous 1 plus ions. So the three factors are atomic radius, nuclear charge and electron shielding. So we've removed one electron. What about if we want to remove another electron? The second ionisation energy would be the energy to remove the second electron, the energy required. So the second ionisation energy, the definition would be the energy needed to remove a second electron from each ion in one mole of gaseous 1 plus ions to give gaseous 2 plus ions. And there's an equation to kind of show what we're talking about there. And so on and so on. So the third ionisation energy would be the energy required to remove one electron from a 2 plus ion and so on. But think about what this means. Look at this here, pause um, this and then work out, tell me how much energy would be required to form an Al3 plus ion. Pause now. If you said that the energy required to make a 3 plus ion is um, 2740 kilojoules per mole, then you've made the same mistake that lots of people make. If you didn't say that, then well done. And if you said 5137 kilojoules per mole, fantastic. You've appreciated that. To make a 3 plus ion, you first need to remove one electron. So that's going to require 577 kilojoules per mole of energy. You then need to remove the next electron, so we take into account the second ionisation energy, and then we need to remove a further electron, so we need to add on to this the third ionisation energy. To form a 3 plus aluminium ion, we will need the total of the three first three ionisation energies, um, which is about 5137 kilojoules per mole. And did you do the extension as well? Did you have some idea why the fourth ionisation energy is so much larger than the third one? If you talked about shells of electrons or thought about shells of electrons, well done. You've already anticipated what we're doing next. Because look at magnesium. These show the first um, few ionisation energies for magnesium. And if you look, the first two ionisation energies are much smaller um, than the third one. There's a big increase in the ionisation energy going from the second to the third ionisation energies. And this gives us some, en some evidence towards the um, structure of an atom. If you think about magnesium, it's in group two. When you did GCSE, you would have learned that that means there are two electrons in the outer shell. So the first two ionisation energies are for removing first um, one electron from this outer shell and then removing the next electron from this outer shell. So then what happens after that? Then we're going to an inner shell of electrons. Now thinking of the three factors that we thought about before, first of all we're closer to the nucleus, we're in an inner shell. Um, Secondly, there's going to be less shielding or less screening from inner electrons. There's going to be less repulsion from electrons in inner shells. But at the same time, the nuclear charge is the same. We haven't removed any protons from the nucleus, so the nuclear charge remains the same. And so if we're trying to remove an electron, pull something negative away from something positive where the net nuclear charge isn't being reduced by so much by inner electrons and where it's closer to that nucleus, then obviously it's going to take more energy. And so we've got evidence there that we're jumping, we're going from an outer shell to an inner shell. We've got evidence towards the shell structure of um, an atom. And if we look at the successive ionisation energies for sodium, you can see the same thing. Sodium is in group one. It has one electron in the outer shell. So to remove that outer electron is relatively easy compared to um, the successive ionisation energies, the, en the ionisation energies for other electrons. There's 
a sudden increase, a, a large increase in ionisation energy when we go from the first to the second electron because we're then going to the next shell of electrons. Think about the structure of sodium here. And then as we go through that shell, we think of our model um, of an atom that we learnt at GCSE. There are eight electrons in the next shell. Um, so although it increases as we um, go successive ionisation energies, we then have a sudden increase again as we go to the very inner shell with the two electrons in. So again, we can see our th three shells of electrons here kind of demonstrated by the sudden increases in the ionisation energy. So if you've got the black book there, try and explain this pattern in ionisation energies and then look at questions one to three on page 41. If you do this before the lesson, then um, you can do the extension with me in the lesson, but see how much of this you can do now.